Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Barcast TV. It's April 15th, 2024. We're going to start this stream off with a 1v1 match versus some random German player I've never heard of before, but I had some decent grunt control last game, so uh, I'll give that to him. I think I, maybe after this might do a little bit of... Do a little bit of... um build order analysis for the upcoming tournament i'd like to kind of button down my plans for some of the different maps and then in the rounds so you guys can follow me along while i do that welcome to the stream if you're new here thanks for joining us like i said last time we were streaming i think i might be doing more of these in the future just to kind of create an intersection between playing and creating content for y'all. I know that's I enjoy having you guys around and watching the videos and leaving comments and whatnot. So um, sometimes I'm a little lazy about making videos if I just feel like playing. So here we are. This is Canis River. This is not the map pool of the 1v1 tournament. So I think I'm maybe showing my cards here a little bit, but I honestly think this is a bot map after kind of my analysis, 14 wind speed, tons of reclaim over here in the corners or and in mid, so that's how I'm gonna play it. Maybe y'all disagree. Always like that. I'm gonna go Resbot Con, two grunts for the con. Infinite cons, eh. I'll do something like that actually. So I think at this 14 wind speed with the high percentage, this is more of a solar map. I'm just making these winds right now because wind seems to be doing good. As soon as I say that, of course, it starts dying. So it's going to add all the solar and then assist out this. Resbot. Wind's ticking back up, so I might get out a few more of these. Wind turbines. I need to be able to get it. Um, yeah, he's going fleas. That's interesting. <laughs> Ends up losing it. I'm gonna. Hey, you got a mix. That's great. Low power. Still floating E at the moment, that's not ideal, but, um, you know, I've been in worse positions, I guess. I had worse macro before. I think that counter actually ate the, uh, ate that corpse there, so.
Hey. So, just barely caught that at the wrong time. Got the reclaim in the middle here, so that's kind of good for me. Get my add on the soul over here, just trying to burn through that metal. I got three res bots reclaiming, so that's a lot of the like. Yeah, this is a great position. I can get this second um, second contour up. Kind of good for me, I guess. Low power. Still got a lot of reclaim going in mid, so I can get this uh, geo up pretty efficiently suppose. Jeez Louise, that's so much, um, so much metal actually. Not good. Finally get this up, jeez Louise. This is pretty good, actually. You got the four contour it's up. Metal extractor lost. Battle paused. 
Yeah, big lag spikes here. I'm not sure what that is. started. GG, mate. I see around, actually. Don't have many new 1v1 players. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. <laughs> He's gonna try an all in or something like that. Radar lost. Metal extractor lost. Get to kill too many commanders with bombers, to be honest. Pull up the chat. Do you think the. I got a question here. Do you think the Geo Rush is going to be the meta strat or the high ground base just safer? Um, I like the Geo start for a couple of reasons. You're a little closer to the, um, the reclaim in the bottom right, which I think is safer than mid. But yeah, on a 14 wind feed map plane is core. I think uh, I think it's better to just go Geo after like as soon as you can. Uh, I, I hope someone might disagree with me and prove me wrong or tell me why I'm wrong, but I think that's my just just my opinion. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get him on here. Uh, I'm gonna do seven right in rating level thirty. Wow, I'm gonna boss myself. Well, I got a comment yesterday to turn up the game sound and music. I gotta be sure to do that. Can I change the keys while I'm here? I need to bind a few things actually. Default keys, control keys, grid keys. Uh, I can get rid of I, I suppose. 
and alt plus or minus is the spacing. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you I'll give you a game, Adrian. Cave dogs here, and there's a somehow off of a off of a sleep. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of guys here. Okay, why not play one more? I have much time to stream. I think I'm just going to hold it to about an hour. So, hope I answered your question, Chris. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm starting a membership program on the YouTube channel. So, I think it's $2 a month. If you're, if you're feeling generous, $2 a month. And all of that goes to the Bar Pro League prize pool. So, that's something you want to support 1v1 bar. You can do it through the membership program. The other level is uh, $10 a month. If you're interested, I'll give you 1v1 coaching for 30 minutes. So, of course, you can get free coaching at, at in the bar academy. Um, and, of course, you can always send me a replay to review. But I just wanted to uh, give you all a couple ways to support the channel if you're so inclined. So feel free to check that out if you like. I'm just going to do the same thing here, actually. Um, maybe I can get Chisato to give me some feedback after this game, and we'll just call it at that. But yeah, I'm going to do the two max start wins dropping, so I might do... Well, now it's holding, right? So I can do the one max... Uh, excuse me, two max, one win. Two wins. As soon as I say that, win starts going down. I'm going to do two, and then the... Two and then the me third max. Hopefully this works out. It's going back up, so I think I got to build out there. So I'll, yeah, I'll just go third wind over here. I'm gonna go up to sixty in a second. Yeah, I think I might end up floating E here, but it's not a big, not a big deal because I can blast blast out this. Uh, Rosebot. This is Aiden. I don't. Aiden? Sorry. I've never played him before, but. Don't like to take my opponents for granted, or. I just put him in the box as competent until they prove me otherwise, so. Um, let's take that for what it is. Okay, so. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna assist the uh, assist the con after this soon. Yeah. Could do that. I think I'm gonna go something like Max Radar, Max Max this way, kind of expand that way, but let's see how it goes. I think I can get back into assisting the lab. Another their con coming out. I'm gonna try and do the same like uh, construction turret build. I might that might work for me here. And then I'll get that up and start expanding, um, expanding like in this arc with the commander, something like that. Yeah, so that worked out really well. I 
<laughs> There's a bomber. That's hilarious. Low power. Aircraft spotted. Try something like this. Floating E, so I'm gonna reclaim this. And just make three cons, I think. Uh... Okay, that's that. I have to be aware of the, um, the Shuri play, but I think... I think I did enough damage. I might even be able to get a second... Um... <clears throat> A second contour out here shortly enough. Not really sure what he's. Metal extractor lost. Uh. Have excess metals, so I can just extractor lost. Spend it on the um extra resonance. Yeah, so I have three rows about to. Can't really defend this. Resvats out. Okay, so he's got a run by over here. I guess that's good for me. Yeah, I mean, not stalling on metal really, or energy rather. Oh, is that gonna get up? No, just barely not. That's unfortunate. Metal extractor lost. Oh, it is. Okay, that works. I guess.
Sounds good for me. I'm just going to reclaim this. Got yeah, my extra metal on floating E so I can make a couple of concerts. What are you doing, guy? I'm just Do grunts take on air cons? Do they actually kill them? I have no idea. Yeah, they do. That's cute. Metal extractor lost. Okay, yeah. GG! That was pretty fast. Kind of tilting in some ways. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, he actually kind of macroed out of the uh, um, the air lab burst start. I haven't played against that too often. Super tilting, to say the least. Forgot to turn up the game sound. Sorry, let me turn on the uh, menu sound even. Hmm... Change the map to something. Kind of been like in Sierra Lada, to be honest. Good say, I was going to look at some opens. I wonder if I have any uh, saved in here to look at. Contra X Factor. Could show off some of X Factor's play. Chisato X Factor. I think we looked at that yes last stream actually. Could see this uh, game I played versus autopilot. That was kind of funny. I uh, ended up losing this to like four. Uh, what's that? T two. What's the dragon? T two error. I need to figure out when to start making T two error honestly because I've been like forcing games to go to T three on these big macro maps and. Uh, <laughs> kind of sucks to be ahead at, be ahead in eco i think and like land and just kind of lose to not scouting not pressuring playing super passively so let me download a, a game real fast so we can take a look at it 
So I'm assuming no one's going to jump in here anytime soon. Give me just one second. I'll try and download a replay. Like looking for Sato's games. He's pretty strong. I'm actually practicing. I know Andy's been practicing some too. Uh, some of those other pro boys. Don't know if Daywalker's actually playing in Alpha Cup. He doesn't show up for uh He doesn't show up for every tournament that's out there, but Let's see. Cetus, I know he opened ticks on that map. Heartbreak Hill, I don't want to see that. That was 19 days ago, it's kind of old. It's from TA, right? Yeah, I'll give you one more match. Uh, Neza, if you're up for it, I know uh, we played that game last night. He was kind of ticked off. Uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't get a rematch in, I guess. He So I got a I got a replay downloaded. Can try throwing this in the old folder. Twenty four is good, yeah, not not bad. That twenty to thirty range is pretty solid in in terms of one v one, frankly. Um. Yeah, so I'll go watch a replay, maybe. Let's do that. Uh, I didn't unboss that. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Here we go. I'm going to start this replay and then make sure OBS picks it up. Give me a second. Got another question in the chat. Is T2 Air stronger than T3 on macro maps? Uh, kind of depends. Oh, yeah, the second question had asking me if I've checked out uh, Teddy's older games on uh, Serial Auto. I'm not sure if anyone specifically you want to look at. I, I know I have uh, some Teddy replays from the do two bar pro leagues. If you're interested in grabbing any of those replay packs, uh, just shoot me a uh, shoot me a DM. I'll email those to you. Um, but yeah, to the T2 air is stronger than T3. Eh, kind of situational. I think if your opponent scouts your T2 air, they can just make it themselves and be in a really stable position. But uh, if you're investing like metal for metal between the two, I think T3 land is a little stronger just by the nature of like air units are slightly weaker in this game. Oh, Nez is here actually. Uh, let me jump back to that. Um, sorry about that. I'll jump in that. Oh, he said he's got to finish his TI. Uh, going to look at a replay. Yeah, but um, dollar for dollar, pound for pound, I think I think the T3 lands are just stronger, more stable. Um, that's how I like to think about things, is it like less risky, more like... I don't want to say plus EV. Um, but generally, I like to play safer and uh, just like have more stuff, kind of. Um, don't think I'm good enough to bait things out. So let me get this switched over to the other instance of bar. Hopefully this picks it up. Scene transition. Here we are on the cold place. Chisato versus autopilot. My frame's gonna hold up? Yeah, they're holding up. Okay. So, interesting. Chisato is spawning down here. We see a lot of these higher level guys favor the spawns here. Like, we see autopilot going. It's interesting. Chisato is spawning here. He's playing arm, I bet. 
No, Cortex. Haha, <laughs> of course. Oh, actually, I remember uh, Chisada talking to me about this, how it's like, yeah, Arm is better on this map with the 25 wind speed because Arm winds are better, but of course you're like throwing away the uh, Cortex advantage you have in playing bots on such a such a wind-favored map, right? So it's like he doesn't want to get stuck in... I'm assuming he doesn't want to get stuck in bots versus bots, Arm versus Cortex, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, interesting he's respecting Autopilot that much as to not just... Maybe like try memeing on him going, you know, mass ticks or something like that. So autopilot's pretty strong player. Just had his crown way above his head. Yeah, it is. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> the crown is sticking out there. Okay, so what are we doing here? Two max bot lab open. All right. Uh, we're floating E almost. So he's just assisting the lab. Had a little bit of excess E, but not a big deal. Last time I saw him on a 25 wind speed map, he actually went contour at first at, with his first con. Interesting he's not doing it now. wonder if he's going to spam click back. Watch, you'll see this. No, he doesn't do it. Uh, um, he actually just taught me the other day, if you like select a unit and then like spam click behind the factory, it'll walk out of the factory like this, and you can grab these two mexes a little quicker. But yeah, three cons first off of a two max start. This is pretty cool. I like that. And it's just like making wins as you need them. As he needs them. And then... What is this? Into seven grunts? Does he put this on repeat? No radar just... Or no contour just yet. I'm wondering what that's a function of. But yeah, it just looks like naked expanding with uh, cons. Getting an LLT over here. LLTs in the back of these, okay, just heading, well, that's a radar, but these LLTs are placed kind of towards the hill, towards the hills, blocking units coming off and kind of assaulting them like this. Now we burned through all those grunts, so what are we doing here? Okay, so he goes six grunts, one con on repeat, that's interesting, off of three grunts, five, uh, three cons, seven grunts, hmm. Uh, I don't want to quit. I wonder if I hit quit, if that's going to bring me back to the lobby. I'm waiting on Neza. Just shoot me a replay. Go back to the client. So well, Rosai. Still in this build queue. Five to one. Got really good balance here. Not too much excess. Here comes the fourth con. This is just really nice. Uh, not quite naked expanding, just like max LLT, max LLT. It's good to know. Yeah, here it comes. So fourth con makes the con turret. It's just that with the commander. It's kind of hard to have enough E to fund both. Look, with the, with the um, con turret and the commander, like minus 400 or something like that. Um, so yeah, he's going to be adding on E with both of these. And was another contour coming out? Yeah, so we're floating a little bit of metal. Could be hard to spend your metal as a bot player, but look at these unit movements. Actually sending a pack of grunts a long way around. We have a single spotter grunt in the front. Behind this, fanned out grunts trying to catch run buys. Pretty cool. Second contour, it comes up. It's not accessing, right? Doing a really good job balancing the eco here. Could maybe stand to put on a few more wind turbines, but I'm going to have to do a deep dive in this video. I really like this open. It's got recon scaling wind. Two contours finished by 4 430. This is a really strong open, actually. I might have to, might have to steal this or just write it down. Uh, perhaps in the next iteration, I'll take some notes. No Geo. Geo's not too good on a 25 wind speed. It's just more efficient to make wind turbines. Let me sketch here. What are the statistics like? So a little bit up on metal, a little behind on energy, but you can see he's accessed the difference in energy produced. So I don't 
think he's slipping cons in the build queue. Maybe he is. I haven't noticed it. Yeah, five to one is pretty good ratio. Excuse me. I used to I used to do this myself. Trying to find a little damage here. He's getting cleaned up. Wonder what the transition is. What it looks like. Uh, I'm guessing air second air. Could be wrong about that. We see the energy storage is going down. Um. Even trying to make uh, energy converters here. It's like, well, we're floating E or maxed out on E. So, yeah, that's kind of triggers you uh, to make energy storage. The wind's dropping, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him cancel that command. A lot going on on the map over here. Not really interested in paying attention to uh, the micro battles. I mean, you can just play zoomed out. Let's take a look at his uh, player view here. Zooms all the way out. Back to macroing. That was so fast. You see that? It just adds on a pack of wins and then zooms back out. Okay. Doesn't get that. I'm going to take this off the player view. It's so funny that crown is just sitting up there. And yeah, even adding on more of these... Um, Energy converters. I'm not sure what the impetus for that is. Um, I guess we're approaching a... Excuse me. So, Chronographer asks, am I a noob for making exploiter expands, especially on bot maps? No, I don't think so. They have their time and the place. I will say that... Um, the farther you are away from the main, perhaps you might, they might get better. But if I would say, if I was looking on that map, I wouldn't make exploiters pat, like behind these lines here. So I'd get away with, if you can like make it expanding. We see even Chisato is making one, but um, this is next to the radar, right? And like, as I mentioned earlier, he's got LLTs protecting him from these hills. So I think in this specific case here, but generally I'd say um, if you can, just get away with naked expanding and radars and just defending with grunts as best you can. But I will say exploiters are APM efficient. Like you're not laying for what they cost, like the same cost as two LLTs and a max. Costs you a lot less keystrokes to do that. But hey, I don't mind them. I mean, it's one of the reasons to play Cortex, I'd say. Um, not sure what OS you're at, Chronographer, but... Uh, in this like 20 to 30 range they're really strong maybe they start dropping off and i'm just talking out of my ass here maybe they start dropping off at like 45 plus 40 plus you know your opponent will just um maybe recognize you favor exploiters and then he what he's going to do is just make no lts no no exploiters and just only units right because he'll be ahead on units um some nice scaling from autopilot. He's so good at uh, so good at this like contour scaling wins, adding e converters. Look at this one, two, three, four, five, six con scaling win. <laughs> one con scaling still on one factory. Or I got a full energy bar off of energy storage, so it's just time to make more energy converters. No second factory as of yet. And has 300 metal in the bank, so doing a really good job. Spending the metal. Got two cons expanding on this bottom side. He's got one con expanding over here, but he's got the res bots out to res this one that was uh, sniped earlier. So pretty cool to see. Really diligent about resing the, uh, resing the con first. Trying to catch a run by on this side. I'm wondering why we don't see more like the same uh, LLTs protecting him along here. See, just naked expanding, right? No mechs, uh, no LLTs. Could have been doing that quickly just to kind of get those back up. Back, this back expanding. I think this uh, this con was killed, or he brought another one up there. So here we are. Yeah, second factory is the air lab into 10 bombers. Okay. 
bombers are a little stronger on this map because you know your opponent going to be making a bunch of wind turbines and I actually think this is a nice place to hide your uh, air units co coincidentally but not really doing that oh while I remember I'll turn up this uh, game sound a little bit I had a comment about that hopefully that's not too loud it's loud in my ears actually Still scaling E. Just one con adding on energy converters and what are you up to? Seven, six con turrets? Nine minutes into the game? Pretty cool. I didn't want to go too far into this. Um, more, more looking for like the specific open. What's the build queue out of the factory? Like when do we make our set? When and what kind of factory do we make? So. Uh, this is good enough for me. Hope you guys enjoyed something like this. So I'll go back to the client. Maybe, maybe have time for one more. One more match. There's a... I might as well give a book match. Uh, I'm going to have to call it after this, actually. Hope you guys like the stream. If you can, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Leave a comment. Going to be doing some more of these in the future, especially preparing for the Alpha Cup. So got a lot more maps to look at. And study. To uh, prepare for that tournament. I think in the next time I stream would be like next Thursday. So hope to catch you guys there. That being the case, I'm gonna focus on playing a little bit and get into the game. Yeah. This is a little too loud for me. He played so greedy last time. He went like three cons or something like that. Three or four cons straight away. So maybe I'll do the same thing. Thanks for that, David. Appreciate that, man. Very nice. So I'm going to go two cons first off the three mech start and then Yeah, it's definitely a big map here. Neza is very strong, for sure. Uh, I think he's a little bit better at team games than 1v1s, but honestly, if you practice, he'd probably be... Popped in on the ladder. Try and leak the runs through. I don't think that's going to work.
Loading E at the moment, don't really like that, but kind of is what it is. That is Commander? I think it is, honestly. Ugh, it's unfortunate. That's good for me. See, this is the good spot. You can really abuse bots on this map. Hopefully I can get in here and do some damage. But it's just kind of hard for them. Yeah, he's going to do a good job deflecting this. But he pulled all his tank backs. So I think that's two more cons up here. So actually good for me. He's running to the same hill as me. So... I get through with that attack, but I 
Where's my roads about at? Spotted. Hey, Lynn. I'll be done in a second. I don't really want to pick up my commander. Oh, shit. There's a huge run by right here. Wait, what?
Uh, streaming. 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 I feel a little, um... Metal extractor lost. That's it. Hope you guys like that one, but that's it for me.